Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a case knife. Um, this is not any case knife, it's uh, special for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, John at Thrifty Kniffy helped me pick this one up because unfortunately it's not available in the UK. It is a Shepherd Hills exclusive. And apart from that, it was actually made on my birthday, 19th of June 2024, which is pretty cool. Uh, it comes in the black style box, so you can tell it's going to be stainless steel. Gold logo here with the XX, WRK and Sons XX cutlery. You get tested XX on the side, which is for tested twice, never bested. Same on this side as well. Made in the USA with domestic and imported materials. Same in French. Twice twisted, never bested. WRK and Sons cutlery company. And they are out of Bradville, PA 16701. And then there's their website there, which is caseknives.com. And this is 60902. So we're looking at the Kentucky Bluegrass Bone Peach Seed Jig Barlow. So quite a wordy name for the knife. Product number is 39858. And then we're looking at model number 62009 and a half. And the half standing for the clip point blade. You can see there SS for stainless steel. Barcode, cancer and reproductive harm, all the usual stuff. Uh, classic stuff inside the box. Yeah, so the tissue paper, a little leaflet, and the product information, which no one ever reads and just stays inside the box. Let's put that to one side and grab the knife. So here it is. This is the, never remember the name of this one, Kentucky Bluegrass Bone with the Peach Seed Jig. Standard case Barlow. And we're looking at one, two, three, three point four inches, nearly three and a half inches closed. Pretty standard size for a case Barlow. Get the elongated bolster, which is pretty nice characteristic on most Barlows. Now it doesn't always have to have a, bar a bolster this long, but most of them do. You can see it's sort of squared off with a nice little rounded bit at the top, which is pinched. And these of course are nickel silver bolsters. You can see we've got the brass pins holding the bone and the knife together with a nickel silver shield in there as well. You can see they have had to round or flatten that bit off there where it must have been sticking up a little bit, but it's nice and smooth. But the bluegrass bone is done incredibly well. You can see the green blue of that. And the nice peach seed jig on there too. Really does make the brass liners pop on this one. We've got stainless steel liners and the build quality on this is flawless. I cannot find a single gap at all. Shone a flashlight through it, I can't see anything. Now there is a little bit of something on the springs there but that's where i've carried it a little bit it looks like it's got a bit dirty and that's about it no problem with that black scale has a little bit more of the greener side to it so you do get sort of a two-tone with this one i do really prefer the color of the pile side of the knife especially with that greeny color running through the bone i think it looks absolutely fabulous but again all nice and smooth of course you've got the spun pin here and here and then these two are peened over same on the front can't feel any of those, can't feel the shield. Just aware that they're there, obviously, because they're done inside jigging. But wonderfully hafted, can't feel any sharp edges at all. Nothing. Tangs are nicely rounded over, so they're not going to catch anything, they're not sharp at all. Blade centering, I mean, pretty much nearly perfect on both blades. The main blade is maybe favouring the middle of the knife ever so slightly, but that pen blade is definitely dead centre. And you can maybe see it a little bit better here where this main blade is slightly over, but it's not rubbing, so I haven't got any concerns about that at all. So standard Barlow pattern then, two blades. Main blade is a clip blade, which is what the half stands for. And you can see we have the case tang etch now instead of the stamp, and you can see there's six dots there. So that would mean this is a 2024 with the case double X. Nothing on the back, plain tang. Now this did come... I mean, pretty blunt, I'm going to say. A lot of case knives recently are coming with a very poor sort of grind on it, so I did have to sharpen this up a little bit myself, and it was this wonky when I got it. Nothing too bad, though. It's not so much that I'm going to sort of send it back or anything. It's now absolutely razor sharp, and that stainless steel takes a wicked edge. I mean, look at the profile of that knife. See, it's a little bit shallow here. The sharpening choil gets a little bit heavy in the middle, and then sort of equals out towards the tip pretty much the same story for the back grind as well 
where you have that mirror polish on the stainless steel and you can see me there in the background and it's going to be a total fingerprint magnet as you can imagine we've got the nail neck on there too no swedging nothing like that nice uk legal knife this is going to be because of the blade length is pretty much bang on the two and a half inch mark with a cutting length of right about 2.1 inches now this does have a half stop you can hear the action on there it's very nice very snappy i'd say the pull on this is about six and a half no play in either direction nice and firm meets up nicely with the back there as well so that's the clip blade on the back then you get the pen blade which of course need a little bit of work to bring the sharpness out to it but the grind's a little bit better on this one probably a little heavy but nothing too bad see so we get the nail neck on there as well and then we have usa the model number being six two zero zero nine and a half and then ss being for the stainless steel as well now i believe the half um, is for any knife that comes with a clip point blade especially these barlows when you could also have a master spear blade instead of a clip so i believe that's what the half means i mean if i'm wrong please tell me but action great on the pen blade we're about a six on this one as well perfectly usable not too weak not too strong case barlow is a perfect knife for anyone that wants you know you can get a very practical one um you know with the yellow synthetic handle or you can have ones with a bone like this which is more of like a gentleman's carry you get a full well i get a full four finger grip on this makes it really nice and comfortable in the hand and you can choke up on that kick there and you know you're gonna have no problems with that knife closing on you overall really impressed with this i love the colors of this one build quality is fantastic love the brass liners nothing edgy at all nothing sharp no blade wrap nothing like that just very well made knife by case and i wish they would make a lot of their knives of this quality now do i wish they would bring you know improve their sharpening and things yes but i mean i can live with the knife not being the sharpest as long as it comes this build quality here with no gaps and everything's tight no wobble nothing along that but there we go guys that's my review of the wr case and sons kentucky bluegrass bone peach seed jig barlow 62009 and a half stainless steel and this is a shepherd hills exclusive i really hope you enjoyed this review please be sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and i'll catch you in the next one peace out